I'm going to start with Nicholas Marigali. Marigali, overall, how are you feeling being back on who's number one? How do you feel uh, about competing about Wagner Hosha tomorrow night? Uh, I feel pretty good, actually. So I had a, a tough camp. Uh, I had a few small injuries that made my time kind of hard building up to this fight. But at the same time, I was smart enough having John and other team to pace down the train uh, the, tr uh, the training room and then like build up the necessary skills to uh, be more than ready for this fight. So I think there are a few things that I want to work on this match, leading up to HCC, and I feel in incredible shape. Even having these little problems that I had before, like during the during my uh, uh, this short 12 weeks camp, uh, I just feel great. For sure, Wagner. Same kind of question for you. How does it feel to be back on Who's Number One and competing against Nicholas Marigali? It's such an amazing day to be here today, um, to be part of this event, uh, especially with um, me and my kids uh, uh, being in this position to be competing together at this stage and uh and and also to be in this position to be the main event and competing against one of the best guys of of this uh this little era that we're in you know and these eras always change and uh nicholas is one of those guys now that's uh climbing and, and showing that he deserves to be at the top and for me to be here sitting across from him and knowing that tomorrow night we'll be bumping fists and trying to kill each other is is, is, is amazing so for me, it's uh, these are all dreams come true. This has to be a very proud father moment for you, right? Having both of your your son and your daughter on the same card as you. It's uh, more than proud. It's it's like a, a thing that never happens in any any sport or any professional avenue. So for us to all be able to compete at the highest level and to be featured on an event like this, you know, this is just it's all made of dreams, you know. So it's uh. It's bizarre, you know. It's uh, it's. I've been trying to put a finger on it and understand the capacity of it, and I don't know if I will today. Maybe in ten years from now, I'll look back and be like, "Wow, I did that with with them," you know. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's very hard to envision and understand. For sure. So, Mary Gally, I want to ask you kind of about this matchup specifically. I think we all know Wagner's going to come out with a very aggressive style, like you know, heavy collar ties kind of mean jujitsu, you know, trying to cover your face and everything. I guess what's kind of your expectation for that, and how are you going to manage the uh, Wagner style on the mat? Uh, I think what I've been uh, showing on the mats since the last two years, uh, that type of fighters that I've been facing, they're just tough on the first five minutes. So they're mentally tough on the first five minutes. They realize the problem they're facing, and then they start breaking down throughout the fight. And I had my last three uh, Nogi fights, I, I got I got proved to people that even if you are really tough mentally, you're gonna break at some point because this is a, a match where your skill is gonna control the result. So it's not gonna be how tough you are because everybody's tough in the level. So toughness can bring you at some level, but a skill is everything that you need. And I've been doing this in a master way and I know that it's just a matter of time for tomorrow exhale again my jiu-jitsu style basically how do you see this match ending up do you have a prediction for the match uh, i have a prediction uh but i'm not telling anybody what i'm gonna do but after the fight and the, the the post uh fight interview it will make sense uh we have different styles everything i do on my wrestling uh side will match well on his wrestling uh game my top game also will match well on his bottom game and I will be able to control the fight in the way I want and, and the vision I have, of course, based on techniques, not on only dreams. Uh, I'll be able to guide the fight to get the submission uh, I predicted before and it's going to be the result of this match. Wagner, I'm curious what you think about uh, the skill overcoming toughness thoughts Marigali had as well as potentially breaking you after five minutes. You know, he's right. Some people are tough and some people um, do fold and they have folded in front of him. Uh, he's made them fold by putting pressure on them and putting putting a pace that they're not ready for. Um, but that, that's nothing I've never seen. I've been doing this for a lot longer than Nicholas and I've seen everything he's showing me. I've seen, I've, I've been in the cage, I've been punched in the face. Like there's nothing he can do to me that I've never seen. And pace and cardio and all that other stuff that comes with it is not going to make the difference in the match. And honestly, um, he talks about his wrestling. I'm not impressed with his wrestling at all. Um, I'm not impressed with his his style of wrestling. It's to me, it's 
basic and he is overwhelming guys that he's they're allowing them to get close and grab and and manipulate and, and toss around tomorrow he won't he won't see me in, like in the more match. ADC titles back to back like Kaina, Pena and Matias yeah, Unis I think you folded you at all I think you folded them all right here right now you folded them when you're on the internet talking to them you folded them in person that, that's the thing that I don't there, get you it. didn't you didn't beat them to me like, honestly you didn't beat any of those guys with pure jiu-jitsu you beat them because they got scared okay. they talked their way into a hole that they couldn't back out of so what you what you are saying is that Kaina Duarte, Felipe Pena, and Matheus Diniz, them. they are not tough mentally I to go that, into a fight. I'm not saying that. You're saying that. Title. No, I'm just like trying to understand. You're point. saying that. Because if I'm they're not you, tough they, enough you put too to much pressure on this, them and they backed in. Can I finish? Of course you can. So if they're not tough enough to handle this situation, this exchange, like how how they were able to win titles, like ADCC titles. Uh, we're not talking about ADCC trials. We're talking about ADCC World Championship. Like how they were able to win that if they are just like, okay, I'm just weak. I think he, they, he broke me mentally. Like, Listen, it's like I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that you is what I'm bringing my point is it's skill. It's not I'm, being I'm tough. Gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go tough. back to. I'm tough. I'm going to you, I'm gonna explain to you what you're asking, right? Them winning ADCC titles, those were the days of the event. They were fighting multiple people. They weren't focusing on Nicholas. They weren't focusing on Nicholas talking onto them on the internet and them going back and forth, talking about betting money and doing this, that, the other. I think you broke them all before you stepped on the mat. And they made crucial mistakes in the match with you that they shouldn't have, and that cost them the match. That's my opinion. It's not a fact. It's Mateus my opinion. Mateus but didn't even talk. I made one single Mateus, post like you. I'm, you know, not, I'm Mateus, not even, you know, even talking about clearly, you. You know, Mateus is clearly not ready and trained. Mateus is in New York City. He's not the same guy he was when he won ADCC. We New all York know this. The, the world problem, knows this. Right? <laughs> we all know this. We, we know that that is – you can – you can loot yourself. You can inflate yourself like a balloon. But in the fact is, Nicholas, I see so? a guy sitting across from me that's trying to be somebody that he isn't. You're trying to be somebody else, and it is what it is, I man. Mean, you know, if we're going to go there tomorrow. We're going to square up. If you and live when on we my square side, up, you will know the difference. If you live on my side, I, I actually hold myself when I have this microphone in my hands because I talk way darker than this. Like, what I think and the, the things I believe... It's based on jiu-jitsu. That's it. You are tough. Pen is tough. I'm tough. Kind is tough. Why am I beating people and make them look like a child? Because I'm a batter, technically speaking. Simple as that. Like, it's crap. When, like, what this crap means? Like, you're not good enough in your skill level, so you're going to scrap to try get something? This is just weird. Like, you're tough. They think I'm going to I'm gonna try break you mentally? It's not going to happen. But I'm going to break you with my techniques. I'm going to take you down pin you from top and get my submission same thing as you want to do but like it's not because you are tough if you're like hating me i'm gonna like okay i'm afraid right now i'm not like there's nothing you're gonna do that you're gonna make me afraid I, I same thing you, as if you i don't go think to you understand cage. i don't think you're understanding the, the 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 comparison of what i'm saying to you i think you're you're taking one thing and you're turning into another but you know i i understand that you think technically you broke those guys and when i think technically you beat them but you broke them before you beat them in the cage or you beat them in the ring. You didn't beat them before you got there. They they put a lot of pressure on themselves. And to me, I'm in a win-win situation fighting you. I'm older than you. I'm smaller than you. And I have less accomplishments than you. You're, you have all the stage to win. Now, tomorrow, when it doesn't start going your way, I want to see how the pressure sets on you. That's what I want to see. I mean, that is what I do my entire life. And... That is why I have so many titles because I handle pressure and I don't. Collapse. I've seen you handle pressure. I just, I I've just seen you fought people off and get disqualified. I've seen you no, no, no. get upset. I've case. seen you handle that pressure real well, buddy. Yes, like your pressure is really good. Controlling one of the best guys in the world, holding him from close guard and flipping off a fucking motherfucker outside. Like I'm not controlling what I'm doing. No, you're not I'm controlling your emotions. Controlling no, the you're best not. Guy in you the can say you're controlling, but you're not controlling off emotion. My finger for a fucking hassle outside. Like you're I'm not controlling what I do. Your emotions are not in control there. Yeah, that's why I'm so good at this shit. Like champions they have emotions champions they are intense so i'm not like you i'm just way better than you because i have it i have emotions you will have your you chance to prove to that any tomorrow other, buddy any other champion if you go to john jones mike tyson tiger woods like michael phelps they have so much emotions and, and that is what makes them drive through something and become way better than everybody so if i'm an emotional guy fine i'm living a happy life i have great people family friends god bless you i'm like perfect god bless but you like, man Emotions is part of the game, and that is why I do this. I think so they are, but I think they I'm have so far ahead. They have place and time. Everybody, and that's it. 
Emotions have a place in time. I, I, I agree with you that you, 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 you're, so you're far. How cold, how cold you watch me when I'm competing? Hmm? Cold. Like, do, do you think I'm, like, scared to compete when I'm fighting people? How cold? I, I'm, I, I, you know, I don't want to make fun of you about your English, but I... I, I know, I, but, like, the same thing I don't want to make fun about you with your, your, your jiu-jitsu. I would rather explain. have my two years English than your 25 years jiu-jitsu. Explain it's what you're saying, though. I'm trying... I was gonna working on a fucking entire life to... Reach the level? I don't understand what you're saying. That's all. Wagner, I got a question for you. How? Uh, what do you see as your keys to victory? How do you see yourself getting the win over Nicholas Marigali? I already started night? it right now. The the mental battle. Imagine. Okay. I think it's over, Nicholas. You I think, think you're it's lost. Over? I think. Hey, you're how was the fight against Pena? Against who? Philippe Pena, who? the guy that I just fought. How did How did I do? Yeah. I didn't do good. I lost in uh, oh, yeah. submission overtime. So how would be a fight? Ask you him how versus Kaino. Huh? You should ask him how it went, though. I mean, you wouldn't ask him because you don't have a, you don't have a friendship with him to ask that, that kind of question. Yeah, no, I can I can ask him. We're you not friends. I should... think nobody here is friends or just doing business, and that's fine. I, I think everybody in jiu-jitsu has a, a community because this is the, the difference between you and I, Nicholas. And I'm going to explain it to you real carefully. Okay, you, Dad, go ahead. you are you are a selfish man who's trying to imitate someone else. And you are I not. Didn't look, even you talk. Let me talk, or you no, gonna talk. Go, and, and then I'm gonna explain you. This, you this are a bullshit. selfish man mm -hmm. that that thinks about himself. You are not. You, no, I I think about the bigger picture. I have a family. I have kids. I don't I have, have family. Too. No, you again. You're interrupting God me. God just throw me you, on, you the, on the earth. You can continue. You want to go, Con? No, just just make your things like. Let me get it there for you. Let yeah. me get there for you. Let me get there. I'm painting the picture first. The picture has to be painted. We are in, an, in a jiu-jitsu community that is a small niche. You, as much as you think jiu-jitsu is huge because you're making a couple bucks, it's small. It's so small. And if I can't help the people who are in jiu-jitsu move forward, I'm not really helping anybody. I'm not helping myself or any of them. So y you are a selfish person. And, you know, you, when you talk, you talk about me, 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 like a child, like a spoiled child, like a child who grew up in an apartment building by himself with his mom. So, it, again... I'm not trying to mess with you, but I am trying to point out a point. The fact is, you and I are completely different people, and we're in different places in our lives. You are a young man. You will be there one day mentally, hopefully. But if you're not, it, it is what it is, and you know, I wish okay, you all the listen. best. We have a – how many years gap difference we have? How like 12, you? 29? Yeah, you're not even in your 30s yet. You're okay, still a baby. so I'm still a baby and dumb. So do you know why I, why I didn't – Say one single word online. Why? Because you are fighting me for family here. And family for me is everything. I didn't Thank you. mention one single word in the entire camp because uh, I realized you. I would be a I, I would be a hassle. Think I'm not trying to disrespect so you. So do not come to me and try act like a dad trying to penalize I'm a child. Not, uh, not because first to. of all, you have your life and I have mine. Second, you have your family and I have mine. Third, you have your values and I have mine. You don't even know who I am. How many times we sit together to talk about life and hang out and eat food mm. and drink something? No, How many times? We're not so you don't even know who I, I am. I don't think that's so the, thing. the thing. That's what exactly we what are I'm doing. We, we are we are fight we are fighting in the individual sport. So I'm I need to be selfish because that is what I do. And when I'm on the mats and when I'm doing my business, I'm selfish. Why? Because this is what I should do. But when I'm at the gym, I'm helping people. When I'm with my family, I'm doing everything for my family to provide and protect. So you don't need to come to here and act like a god. Hey, I'm going to teach you something. I'm Jesus Christ. You're not Jesus Christ. Everybody make mistakes. I didn't even and this God's is name. selfish. This is a selfish sport. You can say whatever you want to look good. This is a selfish sport. And I bet any money in the planet and anything, everybody here, when they step on the mats, they are trying to win. And a lot of times, no matter what, you so many times try to win no matter what. Even playing dirty, you did. So do not come with, like, Jesus Christ speaks in here because I'm paying my bills and you're paying yours and this is a selfish sport and I that's believe, all I don't think there's such thing as dirty I think there's a line and you walk it you walk in the line so and you could say whatever you think is dirty but what I was trying to say to you which is started with the Felipe Pena thing is because you mentioned his name is you don't have enough resources in the jiu-jitsu community to reach out to a guy like Felipe Pena to have a conversation that's what I was trying to say but you Again, I'm not. I don't want to. I don't want to go in this route because you think I'm trying to disrespect you, and I'm not. What you should talk about? Just tell me what you should talk about. I'm not. I'm not going to go down this route with I you. I got an idea. Of something we could talk you about. You think? I'm curious what you uh, think the fans can expect tomorrow from the match on the mat. It's going to be grindy. There. You know, he's good. He's tough. He, 
has thought to become a wrestler and he's not a wrestler in the gi he was a guard player but when he turned into no gi he realized he couldn't play off the grips that he played so well with in the gi so now he doesn't want to play guard because apparently he doesn't believe in it um and his wrestling is to me it's subpar it's not even that good but you know he he is bigger than i am so i got to be slick tomorrow and make sure when i do take him down like i've taken down many countless partners of his i will make sure i capitalize perfectly in my exact moment when i need it and then when i do get on top he will not figure out what to do you'll be down there drowning just like he drowned when he was fighting my brother cyborg he had no answer he fought a sick dude and he couldn't do nothing to him from his bottom game so it it will the guy that was back in out and kicking my balls to move away it'll be another day like, just make, be another make, one of those make days, that fight you know? a who's number one rule set it's just to be only hey prove you're better than me by doing jujitsu so that is why people are refusing i just had two mats declining here because people are refusing to fight pure jujitsu like people want a point because they cannot be jujitsu i'm doing jujitsu in here i'm gonna go fight you wrestle you play guard for you and play top against you so do jiu-jitsu it's just as simple and then you go to ebi rule set the guy is just pushing away moving away pushing away moving away uh, so you you weren't effective enough of course not i couldn't handle the guy the guy was just escaping like a, f a fish escapes from the hand like it's just weird and then like oh no like he's good at jiu-jitsu no, he's terrible but like he was just denying jiu-jitsu i i don't know i don't know i don't know where that went but right. it's uh it's uh tomorrow tune in to flow grappling uh, hopefully we'll we'll get the same meltdown tomorrow and uh, we'll get the job done.